The Vibram Open is in the books. We're moving on to Legacy Discs Silver Cup. But first, let's do a quick recap and see what went down at the Vibram Open. I'm the Disc Golf Guy and I have just caught up with the newest mom on tour, Paige. Oh wait, no, no, no. All right, this is Edith James, Dana Mite, and Ashley's beautiful little daughter. But Paige, you just had a huge victory here just moments ago. Tell us how it feels. Uh, it feels like a relief, that's for sure. Um, coming down the stretch, it was definitely nerves, lots of nerves. Um, I hadn't been in this situation in a while besides Beaver State and it went the other way. So um, I was just trying to hold on to the lead that I had built throughout this round and um, finish out with, I knew going into 16 or 17 and 18, I needed to three at least one of them. And fouring 17, I was like, that's a lot of pressure with all these people <laughs> and you know, the tiny island. So I'm just glad I was able to get a three on 18. So this is a national tour event, of course, where you've dominated in years past. This is a pro tour stop. We're gonna see you more on tour. What's next for Paige Pierce? Um, I'm going home for a couple weeks and then I'll be at uh, Am Worlds. Awesome. And then I believe after that's the Majestic and then Pro Worlds. All right. Well, <laughs> Paige, we're going to see you in Wisconsin for the Am Worlds. Congratulations. Thank a you. huge victory, a hard fought battle with some amazing women, and uh, great job on coming on on top. Thank you. All right. That's Paige Pierce and Edith. We'll catch you guys next time right here on Smashbox. Congratulations to Paige Pierce for her 3P. Now we're going to go to Jamie Thomas for a breakdown of the men's side. Thanks, Steve. We're gonna pick up the action here with Michael Johansson on 15. Right now, he and Bradley Williams are tied. Two strokes back of the leader, Kale Leviska, with four holes to go, and that curls up nicely on the green. Spectacular Woods player, Michael Johansson. Here's Bradley Williams to follow. Been incredibly accurate all weekend, and he just puts that one straight down the middle. Never a doubt, and he is just about the same distance Michael Joe is. Kale would be off in the woods and have to settle for a par with the ever dangerous hole 16 ahead. Everybody pars that, and here on 17, Devin Owens, the lefty, who just started off hot and started to struggle as the weekend progressed, not getting enough air under his disc, he would finish in sixth. Michael Joe gets one nice and high, and late turnover, and this is tracking nicely. Not a huge power player, but enough power to get past the Christmas tree and sitting right in the mouth of the gap looking for an upshot. Bradley Williams, not to be outdone, throws a similar line, just a beautiful hanging Annie. Height stays good. Good little skip for extra distance, and he's sitting in the mouth as well. Okay, well, let's go with one stroke. And he's high and tight. He's off to the right side where you don't want to be. He's going to carry all the way over. Ouch. And a little bit of a lucky bounce there at the end, but he would end up taking a four. The other two would birdie. Hole 18, we are all tied up. Three players trying to claim the first Pro Tour event title. Michael Joe with an absolutely fairway splitting drive. Bradley Williams keeping it out right. The only place you don't want to be on this hole is left. And he is sitting beautifully in the sunshine. Halfway down the hole, half a hole to play. And Slip City. Kale is hits off the tree on the left side of the fairway and he knows he is in trouble. The tree is right in his lie. He's gonna have trouble reaching the green. So he decides, lay it up and try to make some magic happen on the third shot. And Bradley Williams from about where Paul Macbeth eagled. Can he make magic happen? Can he take home? He's juiced it quite a bit there, but he gets a nice bounce off of the rock wall. The gallery loves it. He is staying and he's put the pressure on Michael Joe. No problem. Beautiful pitch up to the green. That should be a tap in. And Kale trying to make magic happen and just misses. He's in solo possession of third place with a good distance between fourth, so why not go for it? 
Now the gallery is approaching the green. Bradley Williams says, I'm in. Michael Joe, are you in? The response, yes. And Michael Johansson, with this putt, will go on to the playoff with Bradley Williams at the first ever Disc Golf Pro Tour event. And Michael Joe, so cool with the walk away. He throws the drive right up the fairway where it needs to be over the pond. Bradley Williams going big, hanging it high over the gallery, going a little bit towards that left side rough. He's just on, let's call that the fringe of the Christmas tree farm, but he's right-handed, so it's no problem. Put one nice and straight down the gap, bump against the tree, and he's in for the three. Michael Joe would tie him. They'll go on to hold two. A hole that was tricky for both of them during the final round. Airing away from the right side OB. Both guys are going to make too much of an error. Go towards that grouping of trees. But look at Bradley Williams with that kick. Giving him a little bit of love from the course right there. Michael Joe would lay it up. And this is to win it all on hole two. The bid's high enough. And it's just off right. Hits the cage. Bounce out. And here's the walk away part two, back to back. Nice and cool, way up the fairway. Putting a little bit of pressure on the younger Williams. The last time he's been in a national tour event with a chance to win, he lost to Ken Climo in a playoff. And this is not looking good either. He's gone to the right side Christmas tree farm. He's gone a long way, the wrong way. And Michael Joe should be able to lay this up nice and easy. He's gonna lay it up short of the wall, but look, it's gonna pop up and go out of bounds. Video evidence makes it seem like hashtag chipmunk gate is in full effect, but a second angle courtesy of a full-scale PDJ investigation will reveal that the disc actually misses the chipmunk, not by a whole lot, only about mm, fifth of a disc with their skips off the rock out of bounds, and he would give Bradley a chance. He pitches up to the mouth that's not a gimme he needs to get up and down here and michael joe would miss the putt over the rock the do or die putt and that's going to bring bradley williams his first national to a victory all right bradley anything you'd like to say to all the fans out there all the smashies everyone that was tuned in and watching this entire weekend uh thanks for following me along and uh, rooting for me and I'm real happy that I was able to come through with the win. Thank you. All right, that's Bradley Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, he's your 2016 Vibram Open champion. Thank you very much for being a part of the very first Pro Tour event ever. The Vibram Open is in the books. We've got four more to go. This thing's headed to the Silver Cup. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give an extra little shout out. Thank you very much. We reached almost three quarters of our goal for the Indiegogo multi-card coverage. We figured out how to do multi-card coverage on day three. We, I think we nailed it on day four. From the bottom of my heart, I say thank you to everybody. We are going to go do multi-card coverage the entire tour. It's the right thing to do. Now that we've got a taste, we don't wanna step backwards. We're going forwards, onward, and upward. Thanks for joining us on this little flight. Enjoy these shots.